Hi, St Albans. It's Andrew Cato here from City to City. Uh, just uh, sending a quick video with a brief update on where things are up to with the revitalisation project that uh, we're engaged together. I've had the privilege of uh, visiting the Parish Council once and talking together. I've uh, been able to read the various documents that have been provided about the situation that St Albans is in and the challenges that it's facing, the opportunities that are before it. And I, let me just say, I'm really excited to be able to uh, work together over the next a uh, little while uh, as we figure out uh, how St Albans can even more uh, fully and fruitfully uh, fulfil the mission that God has given it. I'm um, looking forward to being with you in late April as we work together on what I think is understood to be the kind of most pressing need, which is a real sharpness and clarity about uh, vision and mission and strategy. We have a fantastic tool that we've been using uh, around 50 churches uh, with uh, to, to sharpen that sense of vision uh, and mission and strategy. And so I'm very much looking forward to that. I think the other thing that really stands out is r really practical help that's needed uh, in figuring how to do uh, mission, how to be on mission, how to do evangelism in a very interesting, often pretty challenging context uh, in Australia today. Uh, after that, we'll, we'll see what's needed. We don't want to preempt the, the results of the SWOT analysis that uh, we'll be doing in late April and what comes out of the vision uh, weekend, which will probably be uh, sometime in June. Um, and once we get to that, we'll have a chance to look at uh, what else is needed to really help St Albans continue along a trajectory of growth, of uh, passion for the Lord, of fruitfulness in his service, of community together and loving one another uh, in unity as disciples of Jesus Christ. So uh, I hope uh, this updates of uh, encouragement to you and looking very much forward to working together. God bless.